Ladies and gentlemen, not children of all ages, only children of 13 plus. Screw you, Kappa. Anyways, again, that joke's gonna get old eventually, but then again, YouTube is about to crack. Anyways, <laughs> panic, as panic aside, uh, today, ah, see, I did, no, again, the start of the advent calendar is always a bit slow because I just got off the road, Thanksgiving just ended, etc, etc. So um, it's more me getting stuff in order and starting these advent calendars once I get into the flow of things. And again, once I get my actual gift cards, then I can start doing projects, backyard, etc, etc. Today, though, spent most of my time sleeping because I have nothing to do. No, um, I did wake up late. I went to get some blood work as well as I now have this guy on me. This is a cardio key, extended halter monitoring. What does this do? Well, see, this is a, exactly this is a photo of me and the pristine chiseled, <clears throat> excuse me, abs. Anyways, it's a uh, monitor. Basically, I'm seeing a new heart doctor. I do have a history of heart issues, blah, blah, blah. But I'm seeing a new doctor and he wants to do a new test, make sure everything's fine. One of the things is there's been some weird readings in my blood pressure uh, monitor thing uh, that might think I have AFib or uh, abnormal heart rhythm, something like that. But I don't feel it. I don't, f because either that you feel dizziness or you just get woozy all the time. I do, but I think that's more from dehydration and food. And anyway, all this side. Essentially, just to be on the safe side and to get a nice baseline, he wants this to be monitored for five days. So I get to wear this for five days and I wonder, if I can, uh, I don't know if you can actually see that, but yeah, this is actually attached again, right to my chest. Well, attached to my chest. This, the two little stickers. Matter of fact, there's some extra stickers here. Uh, because I could take the stickers off, put them on. I could take this thing off to take a shower, et cetera, et cetera. But essentially, here I am doing an advent calendar while I drink strong liquors. And I have a, essentially a heart monitor on me. So. The big thing is I'm, I can push a button to record an event in case anything happens. Otherwise, the thing's just constantly monitoring my heart rhythm to see if anything's abnormal. But again, for the most part, it's just new doctor, who this type thing. So just wants to get a good baseline. So like um, uh, uh, next time I see him in a couple days, I'll actually be doing an echo and I think a stress test just to see where I am baseline. So anyways. So yeah, that's pretty much all I did. I just, it literally only took me, again, four o'clock, went in, hi, how are you doing? Sticks, actually shave first. There's like a chest, there's a chunk of my chest now that's completely clean shaven. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, stick, stick, click, click, you're good. Literally took less than five minutes. But me getting to his office and back took two hours. So, oh well. I mean, they could have sent it to my... Um, house they could have mailed it but then i would have to shave myself and i'm not very good <laughs> anyways all that aside enough of that though so yeah again i just find it a bit ironic that i'm doing this alcohol tasting advent calendar with medical equipment uh put on, uh, on my body so anyways today though let's be healthy shall we let's have frankly organic pomegranate oh there's raspberry uh, vodka vodka no actually this is strawberry so this is organic vodka organic strawberry organic lemon so this is strawberry flavored vodka uh 60 proof no 30 percent alcohol so this is 10 percent less than your standard spirit line uh five percent or so less than fireball but about 15 percent more than liqueur level flavor stuff so this might be right in the middle range of flavor alcohol so this is strawberry lemon and vodka and of course organic because what's healthier than you than vodka mother russia i mean just look at all those russian uh, people live in siberia look how healthy they are in the frozen tundra excuse me uh there's zero percent fat so that's good zero percent protein why is there nutritional fat it's alcohol uh serving size it, this isn't even a serving size <laughs> what the hell it's a bottle one serving size no it's 1.5 so this is e <laughs> so to get one serving size of what's listed here i actually have to have drink this and a half a bottle 
Ai Chihuahua. Uh, 1.1. Wait, no, no. With serving size 1.5 fluid and Okay, fucking hell. Make that more. So it is just one container. Jeez. Read, you drunk bastard. I'm not drunk yet. What's my excuse? Uh, so 96 calories, which is interesting. This has as much calories as, say, light beer. Uh, or that. That has 200, give or take, uh, calories per bar is usually how I, I usually round it up to 200 when I'm on the road I'm counting calories. So this has about one half of this. So if you drink two of these, it's the same as that. Uh, a small bag of chips is about four to five hundred, maybe three hundred calories, etc., etc. Just to give you a range. A uh, cookie, usually uh, not that included. I mean, you know, actual cookie. You know, those are fucking delicious. Best Oreos ever. Don't at me. Uh, 140 poor four cookies. So, anyways, all that aside, just to give you an idea of the calorie range. But again, that's they usually don't have this on there. And knowing that it's apparently, frankly, Fido. Oh, I thought that was like a 1% revenue supports animal welfare. Okay. So there, again, this is the kind of, hey, we're organic and we care about the environment and puppies. So, all right, enough about that. How long have I been recording doing nonsense? Six minutes. Jeez. There we go. It looks pretty light. Uh, actually, pretty cloudy is what I mean. Uh, let's see here. That is an interesting smell. Not all too pleasant. It's... <laughs> I want to say feet, but that's not right. Hmm. No, it ha it's... There's a sweet smell there, but there's something on top of it that's muttering up the smell. And I think that's more of the organic stuff in there. So, hmm, I don't know how to describe it. It might be the lemon that's causing... So, again, I'm smelling almost no vodka, but no alcohol, no really sense of warmth and a smell of strawberries, but this citrus lemon smell is kind of muting, <laughs> dominating it. But it's not a lemon smell. It's, it's weird. It's just kind of this dirty smell. Dirty lemon smell on top of strawberries. So, anyways. But, yeah, here's to, um... <laughs> here's to stuff monitoring. Again, my watch is monitoring my heart rate. My cell phone's monitoring my every move location. My uh, Google thing is always monitoring my voice. Aren't you? So, anyway, I was going to say, what can I say? Okay, Google. Execute order 66. Sorry. Cool. Anyways, so that's all that. Anyway, so here's to being monitored more, but for actual health reasons. So here's to my and your health. Interesting. Wow, that is almost lacking in taste it's a myriad of taste though that's it's so the initial oomph uh oof i got some all over me well the problem was i had a small shot glass so it was spilling all over the place but taste wise definitely strawberries and lemon maybe but anyways initial and just liquid feeling uh no real flush no real warmth there is some warmth now but it's smoldering it's not like the warmth i've been feeling so far this uh season where it kind of flows down as a liquid liquid flows down your body this is more just there's a gentle warmth permeating through your whole body slowly and politely but anyways initial oomph uh, liquid no real warmth. There is hints of a warmth, but nothing you would know. Then as it goes down, again, it's this weird juggling of flavors and nothing. What I mean is vodka, by law, has no taste. Again, I've been over this before with my uh, Taku Takes a Shot thing. There's actually, uh, vodka is defined legally 
by being filtered to the point where it lacks distinct flavor, smell, or taste. Flavor and taste is the same thing. Anyways, so it's the process of making vodka by law is the process of making it flavorless and tasteless or smellless. Damn it. I'll try, I'll get that right one these times. But the strawberry taste in there is kind of, it's there and it's good. Again, remember, this is organic. So that means the flavor is not going to be that. It's not going to be candy. It's not going to be the Kool-Aid type strawberry or fruit juice that you want, but it is there. Lemon, less so. Lemon, more of an aftertaste of citrus. Generic citrus rather than, say, Pacific lemon. But the strawberry taste is there. Vodka, nah, nothing there. Which is, again, good vodka. Good vodka has no taste. So, mm. seeing which, is Grey Goose on this? I think Grey Goose is on my list. Because I remember that being really good vodka. But I don't remember. Yeah, I do have Grey. Oh, it's Cherry Grey Goose. So that's going to be interesting. Because, again, in my mind, what I remember of Grey Goose is it was a good, smooth vodka. That was smooth. And, again, alcohol-wise... No, you didn't hear me cough. You didn't hear, you know, anything. There's no flush of warmth. There's a nice slow smoldering of warmth, but nothing too overpowering. It went down smooth. So the alcohol, good. Again, 30%. So it's not the standard spirit line, but it's also not the liqueur down in 15, 20 range. So, hmm. But, so the alcohol went down smooth. The taste is there. It just politely suggests itself. It doesn't want to impose on your taste buds. It just, if you have time, I would like to present you the taste of strawberry. Oh, no, okay, maybe next time. So, again, it's very subtle. Like that voice in the background there. Again, I'm watching live streams and uh, YouTube videos. Whew. So, instead of editing my videos like I should be. All that aside, though, it's nice. Again, pleasant surprise. So, with this, vodka. Vodka, again, ooh, screwdrivers. This would be great with a screwdriver. Because, again, screwdriver is, um, what, drink, morning, uh, drunks drink in the morning. Uh, orange juice and vodka. So now you add a little bit of uh, strawberry to your whole mix. So that'd be great. Otherwise, uh, vodka is used a lot in mixed drinks because, again, it has no real flavor but imparts alcohol. So, whatever. I mean, you could literally add this to any kind of mojito. It's usually rum, though. Anyways, but yeah, again, anything you want to impart a hint of strawberry taste to, you can use this for. And it comes with the added bonus of being 30% alcohol. So, I like that. It's good. Again, the smell was a bit misleading. The taste was kind of mm, but that's a, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing that it's kind of mute, so that way you don't have that cough, you don't have the flush, you don't have anything. It's smooth. So, I just wish it had a bit more taste to the strawberry part. But, it's organic. So again, it's not going to be this wonderful sugary tasting. By the way, how much sugar does it actually have? It doesn't say, but I can guess six. Because what other carbohydrates? It's vodka. It's made with nothing but carbohydrates. It, actually, that's a good question. Can you make vodka? You can make it out of potatoes. How about sugar? Hmm. Anyways, but yeah. So I wish it was stronger tasting, but since it's organic, it's probably not going to be overwhelming. So, but all that aside, it's a smooth alcohol. It goes down smooth, leaves a hint of flavor, and doesn't. I think my camera overheated, so even this new one's not perfect. But anyways, I'll try to finish my thoughts. Uh, it's smooth, doesn't overpronounce flavor, or have a strong taste either or. So it makes for a nice sipping alcohol or, again, mixing with something. It make, it's perfect for mixing. And it's organic, so if you're into that, prefer your alcohol to be more pure than, say, the soda you're mixing it with, Go for it. So, <laughs> uh, tell me what vodka recipes do you know? Because uh, I don't know any off the top of my head, apparently. Otherwise, I'll let my camera cool down, I'll cool down, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. See you tomorrow.